I think we're live here, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Good morning. Give me a second. Craig? I think I'm on the wrong thing here. Thanks. How are you doing, Craig? Very good. Very good. All right. Five people. Yeah, everybody rolls in a couple minutes late. All right, so you guys can see the PowerPoint blue screen, right? Yes. All right, cool. All right, February, or it's not February 5th, it's actually March 5th. So let's change that, right? Start things off with a typo. All right, cool. We got some great stuff today. It's going to roll on through and uh, start with a couple of uh, housekeeping things. As always, um, try to spread the word about the huddle. Uh, it's a great way to get your um, your organization plugged in uh, and know what's going on within Impact Group within EXP. Uh, it's only thirty minutes. If they are unable to make the live call and watch on the impact group, which we are live right now, uh, or beyond the Zoom, uh, they can always go back and watch it in impact or uh, on a YouTube channel, which you see on the bottom there where it says rev up your rev share. That was a five part series that uh, Shelly and John and myself did about rev share and uh, approaching people about uh, joining EXP. There's some great nuggets in there. Uh, make sure you go back and watch that series. It's a great thing to even listen to in the car. Uh, if you go to Shelly and Craig on YouTube, just, uh, I think it's actually spelt out and Craig, Shelly and Craig on YouTube and you join, uh, subscribe to that channel. There is an actual playlist called Rev Up Your Rev Share. There's another one called The Weekly Huddle, which has all the huddles in there. So if you miss it, you can always go back and watch that. But the Rev Up Your Rev Share is a great one to listen to in the car. If you got some time, just let YouTube play, plug your phone in. And uh, there's some great nuggets um, about building a Rev Share group in that. So uh, I'm going to go a little bit more into that YouTube channel and, and show it to you in a second. Uh, not really a plug, but great information uh, if you want to utilize that. Of course, every uh, the first and third Tuesday of every month, Meg and Shelly do EXP Explained. Uh, live on a Zoom call. As I say, they uh, they do it uh, in a very different way, unique way. They do a Q&A at the end. Uh, it's a really different approach. It's a great thing to uh, go and uh, invite people to. So you can invite people as a guest to that. Uh, I always say this all as well. Um, if you get someone that just is at another company and wants to check out the model and you're going to invite them uh, they can always sign in anonymous, just sign in with their first name or a fake name um, and no picture or no video. And uh, they can even ask questions at the end anonymously. So it's a great way to invite people and get them engaged with the model. Um, if you feel it's someone that is a little bigger of a player and doesn't even want to be on that call, just reach out to uh, a number of people that will help you out. I'll help you out if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one with anybody um, that you want to uh, bring to the company potentially. Shelly will do it, Meg will do it, um, John Padone will do it. Just reach out to uh, a, someone that's a really good match that you think and uh, would love to help you out. We do probably two or three a day, sometimes four a day for people. I have actually two today. Um, I know Shelly does quite a bit of them as well and John. <laughs> so we're always out there to help people. Uh, the model explained, there's a new one out there. If you guys haven't watched it or you have seen the old one, make sure you check out the new version of the model explain, explained that uh, Brent Gove put together. He is uh, a master at agent attraction and building uh, an organization. His organization is over 10,000 people now. It's crazy. Um, but he is a great guy, explains the model uh, in a great way. Uh, this is an updated version. It's got all the international stuff in it. 
and all of the latest things that eXp offers. So make sure you check out the model explained. Even if you've seen the old one, it's great to go back and refresh and uh, learn about the new one and, and see what's going on with agent attraction. So uh, coming up on the 11th, your uh, eXp is going to talk about their uh, financial results for 2020, the fourth quarter and 2020 in full. Um, once again, they crushed it or we crushed it as a company um, doing really, these are the preliminary numbers. So of course they're subject to change, uh, but things look pretty awesome. Uh, agent count overall up 63%. Um, revenue expected up 84% to 1.8 billion net income up, um, approximately 31 million transaction sides up 113% year over year. And then residential, residential transactions, uh, as far as volume up 123%. Uh, so some massive numbers, um, you know, that kind of leads into the stock and the stock market right now. Um, I always say I'm not a stock expert, but I'm an amateur sideline stock guy. And um, the whole market right now is is just kind of, it's going down. Uh, there's a lot of talk about um, interest rates going up and uh, inflation, you know, because there's so much money being pumped into uh, the economy with, with uh, relief and um, there's, there's, and rates being so low, there's ultimately going to be uh, inflation rates are going to have to go up. These, um, you know, all this this debt to some level has got to be paid back at some level. Uh, so that increases uh, scarcity in in the market. And right now, there's just a momentum sell off. Uh, but don't freak out. Um, I, some of you only look at EXP stock and oh my gosh, what's happening? It's going down. Make it stop. Um, but the whole market's going down for the most part right now. So just um, I'm not a stock expert. I'm not giving stock advice, but at the same time, you don't lose any money if you don't sell anything. Uh, so just hang tight. Um, if it bothers you that much, don't look at it. <laughs> It'll come back. Everything's um, everything's going down right now. And you know, I, I was thinking of something on the way in as far as that goes as well. Um, you know, you hear so many people say like, "Ah, man, you're so lucky. You know, you were able to buy stock when it was at you know." 20% less than it is now, or, um, you know, such a, it's at, at, you know, $40 a share or something. It's like, well, now it is. So go ahead and buy some if you want. <laughs> um, it's a great time to buy um, if, if you have the means to do that, because ultimately everything should come back at some point and hopefully sooner than later. So just my take on that. Uh, so a, a couple slides before I uh, put up the YouTube channel. So this is what the YouTube channel looks like. So if you just go on YouTube and type in um, right here, Shelly and Craig, to make it real simple, uh, and scroll down, you'll see this little orange circle with us in there. Um, and if you want to subscribe to that, uh, there's some some really great stuff on there. I'm putting all the weekly huddles on here. So if you miss it or you want to listen to a couple in a row, you can just like listen to that playlist. And then all the rev up your rev shares, one, two, three, four, and five are in a playlist as well. Just click on playlist and these will pop up. There's also a, a slew of um, like kind of education stuff in there, lead conversion videos, um, 10, you know, 10 best real estate apps, things like that if you guys wanna dive into a little bit of that, but um, that's where the, all this stuff is being housed if you wanna watch it. And you know, of course, these things are always on impact as well on the impact worldwide group, but because Facebook is a streaming uh, news feed, sometimes it gets buried in the bottom and it's a little harder to find. So uh, going direct to the source is a little bit easier sometimes. <laughs> Talked about this last week. Just want to touch up on this again and um, remind everybody right now, um, uh, Shelly and John Padone, for the most part, put together this 70-day uh, impact challenge, uh, family, health, and business. Uh, a lot of people are doing it. It's uh, I'm doing it myself. And everybody put their goals. There is an impact challenge group. If you want to look that up in Facebook, just pop that up. 
uh, in the search bar, you'll see the group, join the group, put your goals in there and uh, challenge yourself. If um, even better, if you know somebody, try and get an accountability partner and um, go ahead and do that. You know, some of my my goals were to call my mom once a week, uh, to have date night or go out with the family once a week from a you know family standpoint. Uh, I wanna work out at least five days a week. I've been doing that um, from a business standpoint. I, I wanna attract some agents uh, and of course help our team grow. So I've got some goals in there for that as well. So challenge yourself, it's always good to have goals, writing them down, accountability is awesome. Um, also EXP Sprint, the Sprint Challenge is on right now. It started on March 1st. Uh, so it's great as the Impact Challenge is kind of coinciding with the Sprint Challenge. The Sprint Challenge is put on by EXP and it is basically a challenge to attract agents to the company. Um, so uh, there's gonna be one for the month, month of March and there's gonna be another one for the month of May. And um, they broke the uh, company up into three regions, a Western region, a Central region, and an Eastern region. And uh, the first 50 people from each region that uh, attract three people to the company um, can be in the Sprint Challenge and basically can come and are invited to a, an event in July. And that uh, event will be held by EXP um, in each of the three areas. One will be in Colorado, one will be in Nashville, one will be in DC, I believe on the East Coast. And um, they'll wine you, dine you. They're gonna have um, you know, a, a party for us, but most of all, you're gonna be able to rub elbows with the top people in the company uh, that have built uh, massive uh, revenue share groups. And they're gonna share all their secrets on how they did it and how they do it. Um, so they're going to do that in for the month of March, which we are right now. Then they're going to take a month off in April, and then they're going to do it again in May. So uh, at the end of the day, at the end of July or at the end of the end of May, we should have 100 people from each group. So each region, so West, Central, and East, should have 100 people uh, each that attracted three or more people to the company and they will be invited to each of those events. Um, they did it uh, about six months ago. It was a big um, success uh, and a lot of people got some great nuggets out of it. So, and it's also very fun. They're gonna be at like top notch resorts. So try to get involved with that. I would just go into workplace and um, look up EXP Sprint and you'll see an entire group. There's some rules. I think there's a sign up. So go in there and, and, and do that. All right, so last week we talked about, uh, we touched on some different tools and we were talking about different ways to access um, classes and, and state meetings and you know events. You know, so right now uh, coming up, I believe it's in May, if I'm not mistaken, uh, shareholders is coming up. This is just another way to access um, things when you're on the run, you know, from a, a voice standpoint. Um, so you can go into your app store, whether you're on Android or uh, Apple, and you can look up EXP World Intercom, and you will see this app and just load this app up. It's just a simple username and password sign in, and you're going to use your passport username and password that EXP gives you that's the same way you sign into just about everything with EXP with your passport. So when you sign into Enterprise, you're going to use that same username and password to get into the app. And once you're signed in, I think it stays signed in. You can just click on it. You can go to classes that are, are live every day. So, you know, we're a lot of us are very busy. Sometimes we're, we're driving to a closing. We're driving to showings. We're picking up the kids. We're driving home. We're driving to work. We're, wherever we are. Um, this is a great app to be able to look at the schedule on expcloud.com, look at the, the training schedule and um, the state meeting schedule and see what's coming up. And then you can just log into, because on the schedule, it will tell you what room it's in. And then when you get into this app, it'll just say, choose a room. You look for that room, click on it, and then it will say, join room. And you'll see everybody in the room. Um, and then when you when you join it, you'll hear them talking. 
and if you want to talk, there's an actual talk button. You just hold down on that button and talk. So you could even talk. Uh, you just can't see what's going on. Um, so that's a great way, another great way to access and get plugged in. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, hey, I'm not, I'm not in front of my computer all the time, so I can't go to this class or I can't go to this weekly meeting. Um, here's a great alternative. So make sure you all have this on your phone, EXP Intercom. Go to the uh, App Store uh, on Android or Apple, and you can just plug that right in. Easy way to listen. Uh, one other thing, so I want to go in here. I mentioned this um, a couple weeks ago, but I always want to go back. So I'm going to jump off of here. Right now I'm in workplace. Nope, I'm not in workplace. Hang on, bear with me. Um, where the heck is workplace? Oh, hang on. All right, now I'm in workplace. So when you go into workplace, uh, this is a little side note, I don't have a slide for it. And I said this the other day, uh, while we're talking about classes and education and things like that, there is a whole boatload of classes that are on demand. So if you type in, you know, university, <laughs> click on EXP university, and you'll come to this page. So this is a group inside of workplace. If you click right on this first uh, image, it brings you into a notes area. And this notes area is the archived uh, sessions. So these are all the different series catalogs. So the fast start for new agents, this is a great thing to know for new agents. If you want to go back and see all the, the uh, on-demand classes, you can just click right here where it says the live link for fast start and uh, it'll show you all the live videos for Fast Start, all the icon series. So these are top agents in the country uh, and in the entire company around the world now that are sharing the classes that they taught live um, and how they build their businesses. The Excel series is a great series. Shelly and I taught in that series. There's a lot of great nuggets in there from, from top producers as well. The mentor program, um, and then it goes on there so you can go back to all the, the summit and uh, EXP con, but this is great too. the tutorial video down on the bottom here. Um, there's scripts, tips, tricks, FISBO, scripts and objectives. There's KV core information, um, make it rain, sky slope. Uh, and then there's a bunch of uh, other types of um, random types of training, but it's a slew of on demand awesome stuff, Airbnb for agents. I mean, there's, there's stuff that you would never think would be in there, but there's some great information. So do not forget about eXp University um, and share that with your entire organization because when people get plugged in, uh, their business gets better and they get more excited, they attract more agents, their income goes up from a business standpoint, um, everything good happens. So make sure you get them plugged in. So I'm gonna go back here. All right, so this, um, I don't know how many of you caught this yesterday. Um, Glenn was on Zinger Nation, which I had never heard of before, but Ben Zinger is the uh, YouTube channel. It's a live um, power hour. Um, it's usually about uh, stocks and companies and growth. And Glenn was on there yesterday with an interview and um, one of the things he said is Zillow is the number one competitor, which is true. You know, they're, they're the one that has the biggest market. Uh, I know uh, John and I have been talking about this a lot. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, do we have our eye on the correct ball as a company, you know, and then, you know, he also talked about showcase IDX and um, that EXP, it gives EXP the tools to, for a national platform. But before we, we talk about this for a second, I'm going to, see if this will play. I'm going to go on to, um, I think it was this one. And I actually pulled up this piece of it. So hopefully you guys can hear this. I'm going to play like a minute of this. Brokerage. So, so we're, we're working on that. We just bought a company last year in July called Showcase IDX. 
Um, and so we can actually build out our own national portal. That <gasps> Hang on. That's how much I've made this year off Hang of on. selling on Amazon. Of course, it's going to commercial. It took me Hang four on. long, hard years to crack. Here we go. That eventually, in our minds, will compete with the Zillows, the Redfins, the Realtor.coms. What, what does Showcase IDX do? I'm going to now. So okay. Showcase IDX is a basically a uh, real estate search solution platform. So it was really designed for agents or small brokerages, but they had all of the, the, the plumbing and, and tooling to basically build a national platform. And so we bought them to actually build up our full on custom website. And so once that all gets built, like later on this year, our goal is to have mortgage and title and some of those other, other features that actually built into that platform. Um, Got it. Got it. That makes, that's, that's where I was going with it. Um, they have a lot of stuff with SEO. I see it. Okay. And that's where I was going with that. So you're, you're going to have mortgage title more aligned. I just didn't, you know, cause I know real estate and, that usually have relationships. Like there's some RESPA, but you, you know you have the partnerships pro properly, and I think you you guys are probably old hats at that. Um, so Zillow, you would see is like this sh showcase IDX could give you a Zillow type experience. Correct. Yeah, a Zillow type experience. And then you know, and we've even um, you know the the I buy. So that was um, Glenn talking about showcase IDX and um, why they bought it and what their plans are. Um, so that's some really exciting stuff because um, I've said it a bunch of times on this call. Um, that's why they bought Show Showcase IDX. And um, that I'll say it one more time that EXP does not have franchises. So when we go into a new area, EXP purchases the rights to the MLS in e each area. So we have the corporation EXP has direct access to all of the MLSs that we're attached to, which I believe are now over 500, as well as all the access to the areas around the world that we're going in. Unlike franchise models like a KW Century 21 or uh, Berkshire, the franchise owners are the ones that are buying into the MLS. So um, the actual parent company doesn't have rights to that data. Uh, EXP has direct access to all of that data, which will feed it into a platform ultimately that they're building out that will have a national platform like Zillow and even better than Zillow because Zillow uh, does not have all the listings in it because uh, there's a constant battle between real estate firms not giving them the data. Um, they just keep trying to get it in different ways like buying, um, showing time and uh, buying uh, and it's opening up as a firm. You know, Zillow has actual brick and mortar firms now in some areas because that gives them access to the data so that they can put it on their platform. That's the only reason they, they're doing all of that stuff. So they're trying to get the data and we have a clean line straight to the data, which no one else in the industry has. So that's a big advantage to us. So ultimately, one more thing about that. So when that happens, that platform, whatever they call it, um, hopefully they brand it as its own company and um, it starts to gain momentum in, in, um, on, um, you know, on things like Google and, and having uh, SEO power and it, and it starts to go to the top and get more more power and we have, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 agents behinding it, behind it, um, it, it will get more and more popular. And that also is another company that feeds into EXP World Holdings. So EXP World Holdings is the conglomerate company, the holding company for all of these companies, EXP Realty, hopefully this, um, this national platform that they're building. That'll be another company, Showcase IDX, will be a company under that. Um, Success Magazine is part of that, and of course, Verbella. So all of those things feed the stock, which we are uh, holders of. So that is a an awesome thing for us. Uh, they just keep piling on uh, the value and the investor in the investor world is recognizing that. And that's why um, in four years, 
stocks gone from under $2 a share um, all the way up to um, wherever we are now. I think it's, you know, we're- The equivalent of 80 pre-split at the moment. Yeah, so before it split, we were, you know, we were much higher, but I mean, it's, it's thousands of percent. So um, that's great for all of us. Craig, I, I just wanted to comment if I may. Yeah. Um, quite frankly, we, as you alluded to, are in a better position than Zillow if we can get the experience right of the site and get the uh, the distribution of it or the syndication of it out to the level of people because we'll have better data for it because we have the clean line versus relying on agents syndicating and updating versus keeping it as active for three months after it was actually active. Uh, because they're just trying to market through it versus having uh, people going in there thinking they can buy a house that they can't actually buy. Um, also, at the same time, Zillow will face challenges in building a organic agent business because that we already have. So we are actually positioned, if we get it all correct, and that's the important part is keep strategically our eye on the ball and execute after keeping our eye on the ball, we will be better positioned. And if you think about at this exact moment, as you talked about earlier, about the market going down, Zillow itself was down 37% since February 16th when they hit wow. 208 at to, one, to 130 right now. It, everything that benefits from the storyline and growth and gets impacted by interest rates, which are driven by inflation at the moment, um, is being impacted. But from, from a long-term perspective, if we get it right, we have the chance to not only come into parity with Zillow, but pass Zillow. But got to get it all right. Yeah, yeah, great, great points uh, all the way through and through. Um, I think, you know, the key thing that you said is getting it right. And um, it's, it's definitely... You know, I don't think anybody knows what they don't know. So it's a it's a constant, you know, puzzle that we got to put together, and um, it's going to take some time. I mean, Zillow is a beast, but I think, like John said, we're in the best position to to challenge that, um, mainly because of the the realtor support and the clean line data um, that that we have, and then ultimately that that data will be worldwide. Um, many, many countries don't have MLSs, but that also uh, you know, gives us opportunity to go in there, build a massive agent, um, you know, a, a massive group of agents in a particular country, and then have a leg up on people because we have the tools, the technology and the organization to create some kind of organized listing platform for that country which will ultimately feed into a worldwide database, um, you know, once they, they get the national database uh, set up. And, you know, we all know if you take, you know, a step back at how fast technology grows, um, the world just becomes a much, much smaller place every day because of the ability to, to process information and send information. I mean, something happens on the other side of the world and the entire world knows within a matter of minutes, um, you know, it's because of, of technology. So the world becomes a smaller place with technology. And I think um, that'll be, uh, if we can get out in front of that and do it right and get it right, like John said, I think that that'll be a huge leg up and leverage point. Everybody will want to be a part of this company because of it from a real estate standpoint. <laughs> All right, finishing up, I uh, got a couple more things. Um, as you know, uh, Success Magazine is owned by EXP World Holdings. Uh, I thought this was a great um, article that was put out the other day. Uh, very impactful. If you go uh, to Success Magazine or success.com, you can see the, the magazine and the articles. But this is cool. I saw this actually on LinkedIn. It's uh, 12 Simple Habits That set ultra successful people apart. Um, they're composed, they're knowledgeable, they're deliberate, they speak with certainty, uh, they use positive language, they leave a strong first impression, they seek out small victories, they're fearless, they're graceful, 
they're honest, they're grateful, and they're appreciative. Uh, I think that's, I mean, it sounds pretty simple, um, but it's a really good thing to have in front of you and really look at that and and see if you're you're following that and you're doing everything uh, the, the best way you can. I mean, it really kind of realigns um, some things that we can all make better about ourselves. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Just wanted to share that. Yeah. If you want to um, go ahead and look at that article, just go to success.com. You can see it. Final thing, finishing up. We're a little over time. But um, if you guys have been on Facebook and watching, um, Shelly is down uh, in the islands um, with a group of agents and they are doing um, an island mastermind and really doing some cool stuff down there, um, making me jealous with all the pictures. But they are actually going live um, today in about a half hour uh, on impact um, from the tropics. Um, so we can all be jealous. They're going to rub it in. Um, but they're going to discuss uh, 10 nuggets to build your business. Um, so they've, you know, they're, they're masterminded down there. They got some great ideas. So I think they're just taking all the best of the nuggets uh, and they're going to go live and, and share them with us. So make sure you see that. Just go on impact in about um, 27 minutes and you'll see them pop up. All right. That's all I got this week. Uh, make sure you invite everybody. Uh, try and utilize the things we went over today. Spread the word. Get everybody engaged. Um, if you guys need help with anything, um, just lean on the people around you. Um, I'll always raise my hand and and um, offer to help anybody I can. So so please take up on that offer and lean on each other. Let's grow together. Appreciate you all coming. See you next time. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Absolutely.